And Jerry House is pressure. This is all petrissage in the trapezius, rolling waves on the trapezius, and squeezing the trapezius, and beginning my circular thumbs in the upper thoracic. <coughs> mm. Pressure still good? Moving into lunge. Now I'm going to switch to my fists. Twisted fists. Compressions. I'm just going to compress right over the lumbar area and then begin to walk up the back. Jay, let me know if the pressure's at any time uncomfortable for you. Squeeze the trapezius, and one more time. How's this feel? Good. Working the erectors. walking up the back. And then we're going to cross fiber the levator scapula. I can do that with both shoulders on Jerry because she doesn't like very strong pressure back and forth over the tendon of the levator scapula. If I needed to go deeper, if my thumbs were not strong enough to apply the pressure the person needs, I do each levator scapula individually. And then we're going to move into triangle hold on the scapula, visualize the triangle, find the vertebral border, working with my thumbs from the spine across the rhomboids to the vertebral border. And I'm going to work with my fingertips on the lateral border. And I'm going to work with my fingertips frictioning over the infraspinatus. I'm going to try to pull the scapula to get my thumbs under the vertebral border, but we're not going to have a lot of success on this particular model. So I'll be getting that further later. Come to do the triangle hold on the second side. Making circles, wedging my thumbs underneath the medial border of the scapula, and then fingertips working the lateral aspect of the scapula, the teres muscles, teres minor, teres major, and then across the infraspinatus. Then we're going to go into shoulder articulation. Starting on the right arm, leaning the arm forward, back, and around, leaning on top of the shoulder. <coughs> and then go into a tricep stretch. Jerry, tell me when you have a good stretch. Excellent. Take a nice deep breath. <sighs> okay. Let that go, bring the arm behind the back, cut the front of the shoulder, elbows down, the medial border. 
How's this pressure? Excellent. And now I have the medial border exposed so I can feel the edge and know that I'm getting into the insertion of the rhomboids. And then I'm going to drop down here and come in with my fingertips and work the rotator cuff. Circles around the lesser tubercle. Supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor, deltoid. Cross fiber the deltoid with my thumbs. Find the insertion. Triceps, biceps, squeeze, triceps, biceps, squeeze three times. Move up to the forearm, double thumbs on the extensors. And working on the flexors and the inside of the forearm. And wrist mobilization. And wrist circumduction. Moving the metacarpals. Spreading them, working through the thumb web, and off the thumb, and off the individual fingers. Is it okay if I pull your fingers? And open palm. Make sure the elbow's on the armrest so that you can spread open the palm. If you happen to know palmistry, this is a good chance to read their future. Otherwise, we're just going to pummel their palm with our thumbs for a few moments. We're going to have 20 foot children. Invest in measures now. And move on to the second arm, starting with shoulder articulation, bringing the arm forward, back, and around, leaning on top of the shoulder. And then go into a tricep stretch. Let that go, bring the arm behind the back, the front of the shoulder, elbows down, the medial border. How's this pressure? Excellent. And now I have the medial border exposed so I can feel the edge and know that I'm getting into the insertion of the wrong voice. And release this and drop down on a knee. Rotator cuff. Deltoid, cross fiber, deltoid dance, back and forth, all the way down to the insertion. The triceps, biceps squeeze three times. And onto forearm. Double thumbs on the extensors. Circling back and forth. Kind of like making a double dutch movement with your thumbs. Hold the hand and place your thumb on the outside, fingers on the inside to work the flexor tendons. Again, circling. Mobilizing the wrist, up and down, <coughs> round and round, both directions. 
mobilizing the metacarpals, up and down, spreading, <coughs> squeezing off the thumb web, squeezing into the thumb web, then off the individual fingers. Open the palm, interlace your fingers with theirs, elbow on the armrest, and spread the palm. Little thumb work. And release. And we're finished with both arms, complete with an energy stroke. And on to cat paw on top of the shoulders, pushing the trapezius away. Traction circles coming in on either side of the neck with your fingertips. Small circles. Working up the side of the neck, both sides. And my fingertips are exploring little areas of tension and cross-fibering them with my circles. Come up to the occipital ridge and I'm going to continue with those circles and traction. So these are traction circles along the occipital ridge. If their hair allows, you can do a little bit of scalp massage in this position. And then come around and do scoops on the neck. <coughs> Wide hand, fingers on one side, thumbs on the other. And lift and squeeze. Lift the tissue, squeeze. I'm working in the lamina groove between the transverse and spinous processes. It's a deep cross fiber. How's the pressure, Jerry? Okay. And then the kitty carry. Take, take the trapezius, squeeze it away from the spine, and stretch it. Squeeze and stretch. And then occipital circles with your thumb beginning on the side nearest to you. I'm going to make circles, cross fiber back and forth, then hook and press straight up. And finishing on the second side. And then coming back to the back, forearms on top of the shoulders, paw, cat paw with elbows, and then elbows standing in lunge position. This is deep work, compressing down either side of the spine. Transition to fists. Compression walk up. And percussion.
And we're finished. Wow. Okay, well, three seconds over.